Hi, this is the second tutorial on how you can play MIDI file on a Mac. And if you never saw the first tutorial, which is the easy way, please go back and check the easy way video. And this video will cover the advanced way. And let me give you a demo first. And only one MIDI file will be played and it will sound very differently each time. I will set the MIDI emulation to an average sound card in the DOS era. Next, I will set the MIDI emulation to AdLib card or uh, equivalent to Sound Blaster 16. Now let's jump to the modern era. I will use the Mac internal MIDI engine to play this MIDI file. And this is the sound you heard from the Easy Way video. We can also emulate the sound from the Sound Blaster Wave 32. We can also use the sound bank from the Roland. And we can also use very modern and a huge sound bank from nowadays. As you can see, the same MIDI file can be played in various ways and it sounds so differently. And since this is an advanced guide, so I have to explain things. You see on the left, it's MIDI. On the right, it's WAVE, MP3, AAC, or FLAG. They are fundamentally different. Basically, MIDI is a music sheet. And music sheet cannot play itself music sheet doesn't contain sound waves. On the other hand, the wave MC3, they are sound waves. And that's why MIDI can be so small. And here is how MIDI system turn the music sheet into the sound that you can hear. You can think the music sheet here is actually a MIDI file or a MIDI keyboard or MIDI drums. And they have one thing in common, they cannot make any sound. 
And this beautiful lady here is called a MIDI sequencer. It also cannot make any sound, but take in the MIDI file or the music sheet as inputs and play the instrument. It can be both hardware or software. If it's a software, it's usually your MIDI player or MIDI editor. And this piano here is called a MIDI synthesizer. And this is the critical part which can change the re mi fa sol into sound wave. Different synthesizers have different sounds. It's just like a $10 toy piano and a real piano sounds differently. What we are doing just now is to change the synthesizer so we can hear different sounds. It can be a hardware just like a piano or sometimes it's called an electric piano. But most likely for us it's a sound card or an emulated sound card. Or it can be a box. Lastly, it can be a software in your computer to emulate this box. And now you know how MIDI works and we are going to install the software required for us to change the MIDI synthesizer on our Mac so we can use different synthesizer to play the same MIDI file. The solution I found is something called a minimal MIDI player. It's an open source free MIDI player which can load the sound front. And this is the author's name. And here is the download link. Download this zip and unzip and you will get the player. Drag it to your application folder and it's done. The second solution I tried is something in the App Store. You go to the App Store and search Soundfront MIDI and you see this NS MIDI player. It may be not free because it has in-app purchase but I cannot use it because it requires the latest Mac OS and uh, I refuse to upgrade. But this player claims it can load the sound front, so maybe you can try if you have the latest Mac, Mac OS. Search sound front general MIDI free as keyword to do the search. It's just like a font for the text, it's a font for the music note. Different fonts sound differently. And here I show two examples for website hosting sound fronts. And sound front have many types. The types you want is called a general MIDI sound front. A general MIDI means it contains all the instruments, all the drums, all the violins, cellos, pianos. A single file contains all the instruments. Most sound fronts is for maybe single type instruments. Those are for music production, but you want it to play back MIDI files, so you are aiming for the general one. And the alternative solution is to use the Windows version FUBAR, and not the Mac version. FUBAR have a Mac version, but it doesn't support plugins. So you need to download the Windows version FUBAR and with a MIDI plugin. So this MIDI plugin can emulate various different of uh, synthesizers. Uh, I have a tutorial to tell you how you can run a Windows application on the Mac. If you never watch it, you can watch it. But this is optional. Uh, the minimal MIDI player can do the job already. After you install this full bar, the second thing is to install this MIDI plugin. After that, it will reboot full bar and you will be allowed to configure this MIDI plugin. And here you can choose various synthesizers and the second option allows you to load the sound font. And you can single click the sound font area so you can choose the SF2 file you just downloaded. Now let's try to play another MIDI file so we can test out the sound front we just downloaded. 